Well, when people say it's always something, it's really always something. This truck got towed here yesterday. See right there, that's my sway bar. So, lost steering completely. Well, the guys are driving down the road. Ooh, sorry, this camera mount isn't doing it for me today. But the steering is completely gone. So that's cool. But good morning, everybody. It's Saturday today. This truck got towed at the very end of the day yesterday. So, oh well. But we're gonna head up to the shop today, get some things done. But before we do that, I gotta go grab my coffee. All right, getting a little bit of a late start this morning. It's already 10.05, yikes. I slept in a little bit this morning, woke up at 7.30, and got some quotes written up, had an enjoy, enjoying, wow, enjoyed my morning. So this place is an absolute atrocity still. I do have Mike's guys, I gave them two days next week, and we're gonna come clean this entire place, clean up the back, organize all those pallets over there because this place has just been an absolute nightmare since, uh, what, April. So last night I did go out, got myself a new transfer tank. I also grabbed a new pump and stuff as well. So we're gonna get this guy thrown in today. I actually ordered a diamond plate one which is the same one i had in my other truck which is now in mike's truck i ordered that it came in the guy said it would be 1350 and he said oh but i accidentally ordered a steel one nobody wants it i'll give it to you for 850. So i said yeah i'll take it so i paid 850 for that let me know if that's a good deal or not it's the 75 gallon uh combo with let me see if i can open this can't even get it open it might be uh Keys are in it, should be locked. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's the toolbox combo with the tank. So, I don't know. We'll see how the steel holds up, but I figured if it starts looking ratty, I'll just take mine back from Mike and I'll give him that one. So it's been about two weeks since I've driven this. Might need a little help starting. A little starter fluid maybe, I don't know. take this for a little ride I haven't driven it in a while I had to grab a battery though for the radio there's no Bluetooth week the guys ripped out a deck they dumped everything here we're gonna burn it all next week it's all mixed in with dirt and stuff though so that'll be it'll be real interesting
truck bed is an absolute mess. I've just been throwing crap back here. Not for nothing, I don't have a toolbox, but now I do. So, my truck bed will stay maybe a little bit cleaner. Probably not, though. Oh, that's great. I also grabbed a new pump. I think this is a 15. I think it's a 15 gallon per minute. I don't really need the 20. I mean, we're not filling anything, anything massive. Not for nothing, it's only a 75 gallon tank too. So, yep. Also grabbed a filter for it. Red handle, paid extra for that because it came with the green, which I thought looked stupid. So. And a swivel too. If you guys ever buy one of these, make sure you grab a swivel. You'll see when I get up there because if you try and park next to your machine on the passenger side, when you run your line around, your line will kink and then you won't be able to fill up the machine. So if you guys ever buy one of these, always get yourself a swivel. It'll save you a lot of time and energy. We got all the big stuff out and I gotta get all these rocks and crap out of here. I don't know how most of this stuff got in here. Honestly, I think, I know exactly what it's from. Putting pallets in here. These rocks are on the bottoms of the pallets and then they get left in here. So, it's kind of a pain. That's about as clean as it's gonna get. All this brown stuff is biotone which is plant food that's spilled in here and now it's all decomposing and smells disgusting but that's why i'm wearing gloves so i think i'm gonna do before i spin that and get it set in place i'm gonna throw this back rack on because i've had issues with these before the uh housing for your handle that back piece will just hit your back glass constantly all right so i got my holes drilled on each side because the box actually came with the mounting brackets, but they have these rubber mounts, I'm assuming, so the box can have a little bit of play. I don't really want that though, so I drilled the holes, went to put these in. I need two people anyway, one guy to hold a wrench on the bottom side and somebody to put the bolt on top. So for now, I just threw some self-tappers in there. I'm just gonna go grab some regular bolts and I'll end up putting those in there. But like I said, for now, self-tappers will just hold it in place for the next couple days till I have time to run to the hardware store. It's been a little while since I've set one of these up, but this is our power wire. It's gonna go up to the front. I'm actually gonna wire this into my aux switches. La or on my last truck I had issues with people. I would fill the tank and I swear I would come back and there would be half as much fuel in there as when I filled it, so. I'm just gonna wire it into the aux switches that way. I don't have to worry about someone coming up if my truck's parked, turning the pump on and stealing fuel. I don't know why someone would do that because you don't know what type of fuel is in these tanks, but whatever, it's beyond me. Man, look at that. That's nice and shiny and new. What I realized, because usually I, or my last one, I took the pump, just put it down in and spun the pump around to thread it on. But this one has this uh, hook here. So when I put the pump down, I can't spin it because this gets in the way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unbolt this here, take this off the pump completely. I'll thread this piece on and then I'll just re-bolt that back in and that way I don't have to cut that off. All right, we got everything in. Pumps all put together, filters on, swivels on. Like I was saying, if you take your pump out and you have to go to the side, your line doesn't kink. On my other one, I just had it come straight out and I didn't have a swivel, so it would constantly kink. So that's nice. We got our ground hooked right up to the box here. It's not bad. But, oh, now for the most satisfying part. Hopefully it'll be satisfying. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't rip into a million little pieces. So yeah, after I got this back rack on, that M and tree <laughs> aren't aren't that great. So I'll probably take that off and then just get a uh, a little one for the corner there or something. With the back rack on there, I think it looks kind of stupid. But. All right, I looked everywhere in here and I can't find the aux wires anywhere. I know on the 2022s they were over here in the 16, 17 body styles I've had. They're over on that side, but I can't find them. So I'm gonna pull up a quick YouTube video because I know they gotta be in here hiding somewhere. All right, well, after watching a YouTube video, whatever moron designed this should be fired. So you gotta take this fuse box out and then they have the wires all taped up in here. So you have to untape everything. Why? Look at that. All the pink tails, right there. Easy to get to, you pull them right out, you work on them. None of them were wrapped up. I don't know, something small. I'm sure there probably is a good reason for it, but for people like me, it's just frustrating. All right, so we got all of our tape off. It wasn't a big deal. It's just annoying that they can't just leave these right here, <laughs> but anyway. We got our wire fished up through. I just ran it along the frame down here and ran it up. So we, they do put this nifty little diagram on here for you. So we are gonna hook up to number six, which is the gray and orange. On the fuse box, if we remove this little five amp fuse right there, shift that over and put it back in, that means that we can run the aux with the truck off. So that way, if I want to, run the pump, I'll hit the aux switch. I don't have to have the truck running for the aux switch to, to work. All right, so we got everything hooked up. Our wires ran up, tied in down there, if you guys can see it. Don't mind this. I ran out of eye hooks, so I just hooked that up real quick just to see if it works. Perfect. That's a wrap. Like I said, I'm gonna run to the hardware store. I gotta grab an eye for this. I just put this on just to see if it worked, which it does, so we'll fix that. And then I just gotta grab bolts for the tank and we'll be good to go. So I'm heading out of here though. Uh, I'm actually gonna run to the land real quick. Yesterday, Joe dropped the skid steer off there. That place is an absolute mess with all the piles and dumping that we've been doing there. So I'm gonna head over. I think Mike and Chris might be over there today. So we'll see if we run into them. Man, that just makes the truck look so much better. In my opinion. I think it makes it look like an actual work truck now. Oh, happy I walked around. Cool. Let's get this thing thrown back in the shop. What's up? Oh. Are you having fun? Yeah. Lots of shovel in there. I, I did see that. Yeah. Good. It's only forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Morons. Yeah, I know. It's I know you're not gonna get it. Good. I honestly, I was just gonna have you do whatever you want today. I'll come back tomorrow. All this stuff, if you want, just push it all that way. Mulching everything too, right? Yeah, everything. Oh. Everything. Send it. Yep. You got fuel? That I don't, I don't even know what to oh, Okay. Check it real quick before I leave you. You open that. Just press the far left button. Oh yeah, you got no fuel. <laughs> so, hmm. No, I just put a transfer tank in my truck. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. So I can go, I can go get fuel real quick. Alright. All right. I mean, you could, if it goes on E, then just hang out. I'll run to Speedway real quick. I'll just get a little bit of diesel. Huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, if it gets really low, just pull it over there, back it up to the road, and then we can fill it right up. All right, so, all right, sounds good. So Chris wanted to get more seat time in the machine, and I mean, what a better place than here. And not for nothing, it kind of saves me time from having to push everything out. But look at that, we get to use a transfer tank. I don't have to call Mike, ask him to fill up the machine like I've had to do for the past month. It's really just been something I've been slacking on. Every truck I've had has had a transfer tank in it, and this one hasn't had one for like a month. It's been kind of nice, but also been a pain when I have to do stuff like this, and I'd have to call Mike, be like, hey, what are you doing? We'll see if I'm gonna get sprayed with diesel. <laughs> <laughs> When'd you put this on? Just now. It's not pissing diesel everywhere, so that's good. Oh, it's leaking a little bit. Oh, I didn't. I didn't tighten the filter on. That's why. Yeah. Paid extra for that. You know what I should do? I should swap one out on Mike's truck that doesn't shut off automatically so he just gets sprayed with diesel one day. <laughs> that, would that would be good. You would not be very happy. Ah, what else is no? Oh man, now my truck's gonna reek of diesel. I don't miss those days. Can't use my back window anymore. Why not? Every time you open it, just the smell of diesel just uh, fills the truck. How often do you use it though? Oh yeah. The tank? No, 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 the back window. Oh, rarely. Pretty yeah, much never. Well, <laughs> now never. I used it maybe like, I don't know, four or five times. <laughs> Alright, okay. well call me if you need anything. Try not to flip it if you could. I'll try my best. <laughs> Alright, have a good rest of your weekend. You too. See ya. Alright guys, well that's a wrap for our Saturday, finishing up at 3.30. Figured it would be a fun video because most of our videos are kind of the same, you know, going to the shop in the morning, meeting the guys, going to do work. So I figured I'd pull out the camera today, it's Saturday, do some different things, a little bit of odds and ends, and uh, yeah, not a bad day at all. So. Appreciate you guys watching. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend and we'll catch you Monday morning.